So uh, go ahead. I don't know anything about it. That's cool. You, what? <laughs> yeah. What? <sighs> Sometimes. Hey, what? Chris, hey, Chris, guess what? What? Guess what's coming back on the air? Um, after 13 years. Guess what's coming back on the air after 13 full years? Full house. No. Uncle Joey. No. Um, oh, no. This is the reverse of that one time you asked me to guess what, and I kept guessing. What was the movie, Little... Uh, what was the movie about the guy that built a small little girl that was a robot? It was a television series. I don't know what that uh, is. Small Things. No. Nope. It was creepy. Not that. Why would a man build it? Anyways, what's coming back? I'll give you a hint. You ready for this? Yes. <laughs> Sound of Music. No! The X-Files! Oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is Basically, the best show in the whole entire world really? ever. What's it Period. About? Okay, so what it's about, right? These two FBI agents, mm -hmm, two of them, Mulder and Scully, yeah. uh, work for the FBI. But Mulder is this guy who believes in extraterrestrials. Mm -hmm. And the entire show is these two characters, Mulder, who is a believer, and Scully, who is a skeptic, investigate the X-Files, which are all files and cases that the FBI shoves aside because they're paranormal activity. Oh, I see. So are there are a lot of them. There's a lot of them. So over the course of nine years, oh. they had a bunch of mythology um, for the show, and the show was actually the first to introduce um, like the Monster of the Week formula, where it was a scary movie, but oh, within yeah. a one episode, and then also a longer running story arc. Also, he was my first crush. Moldy. Yeah. What was his name? Mulder. Okay. Fox Mulder, and Moldy he was Moldy and, Sco and Scallions. No, and Scully. Whatever. So, it, so are, is it going to be them yes, in the new show? It's going to be them in the new show. So basically, show. this means they couldn't find other work. That is so mean. No. <laughs> Why would basically, they? it means that the best show of all time is coming back. All right. And I'm I've, I've going. Never seen it. I'm going. How could you? I'm going to. I will a be friend. honest. I saw one episode, but it was you a bad lied experience. To me like three times. Because I didn't watch the whole thing. What, I've lied what to episode did you times. see? I'm sure. I don't even know what it was. I what was happened? flipping around, and I used to live in this apartment. You were, you were just flipping around. Exactly, because I lived in this apartment that the air conditioning was terrible. Mm -hmm. And so I was basically sitting there in August, burning up, okay. wearing very little. And I was watching this, this episode, and there was something in a bureau, in an armoire, in a closet. I don't know. They were about to open it. And right as they opened it, my two neighbors, these two girls, burst into my house because they thought it was theirs. And they came laughing and carrying on. And I screamed like you would not believe. The and so I never amazing. watched the show. I okay. Didn't... Dude, they had an episode about mm. a monster who monster. hid in porta toilets. Oh. And when you went to use that the bathroom stinks. at state parks, and when you went to use the bathroom, he would eat you. What kind of monster they would also rank? also had an episode where there's this little tiny guy who had no legs. Um, and from another country and he was in the airport on this little cart that creaked and so he'd pull himself with his arms oh that's creepy sounds a little bit like but you uh, couldn't the Doctor see Who's him system. because he could like wrap light around him and he would eat his way inside people and hide in their bodies like a host and move from country to country that oh, way oh how did I miss this it's amazing how about um they also had another guy named tombs and he could squeeze his body through tiny little holes because he didn't have any bones oh. and he survived he by up? eating the livers of people oh so he was God. all yellow You're and sort of covered no up, huh? it's a true thing and covered in bile it was amazing i think you're just making stuff no up. the entire show was amazing like the most Epic, and then of course, when I was younger, I believed in like extraterrestrials, and I tried to like. Well, there are extraterrestrials. I'm and positive. And communicate it's with them, which they never here. talked back. No. But basically, best show entire world. They've confirmed it for six se wow. episode miniseries. Oh. Films this summer. on like regular real TV yeah, or on like regular, Netflix. No, or on Fox, mm -hmm. the the station that had them in the beginning. Uh huh. And it's all the original players. It'll be Scully, Mulder, the same director. And then, like, the same main characters there, will be there. There was a show that sounds very familiar to this that was on uh, sci-fi called Warehouse 13. Did you yeah, ever see that? Yeah, that was probably a knockoff of The X-Files. Did you the see X -Files, it, though? Uh, the X-Files ran from 93 to 2002. Because uh, they were investigators, but they were investigating, like, objects. Like, they had to yeah. go and find I've a mirror I've seen a couple of episodes, but it was most of the stuff on like sci-fi is... If you like that, you should like the X Files. Oh, that's too much. The VHS name is tapes. offensive to me. I no. don't know. I would go to flea markets because we didn't have cable, and I wasn't allowed to watch it yet because my mom thought it was too scary for me, even though I was fifteen. Really? So I would go to flea markets and find the VHS tapes for a dollar, and then I would buy them. And then I had this little tiny TV with the VHS player in my room, and I would watch it. Hmm. Well, that was a bad. 
X Files gonna... coming back. Yes. When? We don't know. Yet. Copyright TM. Dang it! Just got this taken off of YouTube. <sighs> Great. 